Hi guys, I'm afraid I couldn't resist doing this. I was so disappointed with my version 5 paddle wheel performance uh, that was yesterday. But I've done version 6. So I've gone wider again, as wide as I can do with the existing uh, chassis, because there's only a limited gap there, uh, 20 millimeters. So this is in the same vein as the version 5 or Mark 5. It's got lots of paddles all the way around. I can't remember how many it is this time. Uh, see if I can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think it's 20 this time. Rough guess. Just do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I think it's 20. Um, yeah. And this time, I don't know if you can see, I've curved them. Instead of them being flat, they're actually semicircles. So the yeah, air should uh, be captured for longer. When they're flat, the air only hits them at an ideal angle for a fairly short period of time. When they're curved, you've got a bit more um, variation with the air being caught. So we'll give it a try. I also printed myself another one of those nozzles because at the end of the last video I, was, I thought I'd already got one but I didn't have one so this one is a six millimeter nozzle and the one that's in there is the three millimeter the very thin one so we'll give it a run with that and then we'll give it a run with the new nozzle so this is the old nozzle three millimeter nozzle so very narrow should last for forever the uh, airflow. So as long as it moves, we ought to get to the other end. So we'll use the um, the Ed version of twisting the balloon to seal it. Just twist it off like that, and that stop, stops the air coming out for long enough for us to get it in position. What I like with this is I can take my hand off it, and it's clear that I'm not actually pushing the car at all, so it's entirely balloon propelled. The only thing is, it doesn't get the same burst of power that it normally gets with the way I release it with my finger. That's building up speed. Oh, having said that, it just slowed down again. Right, so that's our air gone. I must admit I didn't blow it up to its full extent, but we got the distance. So we'll now try it with that other nozzle, which will blow quicker. So it shouldn't last us long, but it should give us more power for a shorter distance. As long as my balloon doesn't break. It's getting full of my breath, moisture. I do throw these away. I don't save them. If anybody's worried about my germs building up in them. There you go. 
Uh, right, I'll get another one because this will have slightly different um, consistency to the other one because it's new. Had a lot of people suggest I should point it the other way around so that the any extra air is pushing the car forwards. But I'm specifically doing it this way because I want to demonstrate it's the wheel that's pushing the car forwards and not the balloon. Right, much faster start. Much faster run. So that was the six millimeter nozzle. Now, if you watch back through all these videos, because I've done a lot of them now in the last couple of weeks, we were using a smaller balloon at the beginning, so we didn't have the same sort of power. So you can't compare the first runs with the early uh, designs with these later designs directly because we got a bigger balloon but that one was significantly faster than the uh, smaller nozzle I suppose I'll put the small nozzle back on again now that we're using a new balloon so we can compare the two when the balloons have been used quite a bit they expand you get more air in them or appear to they get bigger but they've probably got less pressure because they've been stretched so this is the three millimeter nozzle again It's actually harder to blow it up with a smaller nozzle because for the same reason it lasts longer when it's going down. It's harder to push the air in. Right, so hold it on the top. Check the direction. Push it over there a little bit. And... I'm going slower, a bit faster than last than uh, with the old balloon though. We did the distance and we've still got air in it. So it looks like Mark VI paddle is an improvement. See if we can get a close up of it so you can see it's little semicircles. So they're smaller that way round, top to bottom, than the Mark III, but there's more of them. You see, if it can go over the bump. If you've watched all the videos, there's a bump between my kitchen and my conservatory which it struggles to get over.
it's not so much of a problem going the other way because it doesn't travel so far before it hits the bump. Going this way, it's lost most of its power by the time it gets to the bump. So it struggles. I'll try and aim it in the right direction. Where the bump is. Oh, it didn't do it. Didn't do it. I expect I could keep trying it, probably would. Quite often it rolls back a little bit just there. It is just there, you can, well, you can see the line. It's where they've matched the kitchen level to the conservatory level. They didn't, oh, there you go. And they didn't get it quite right. It will stop again. There you go. So don't think that my kitchen slopes all the way. It's just that little bit just there. I'll give it one more go, see if we can do it. Should have enough air left left now. Just there. Right. Oh, of course we'll have to try the other other nozzle as well. Right. Back to the other end. Right. The other nozzle. Six millimeter nozzle. Fast to start. <laughs> Just got the chair out of the way in time. Much faster run that time, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So, Mark 6 nozzle, success, and back to a larger nozzle. Did I say Mark Six Noddle? Mark Six Mark Six Paddle and a six millimeter nozzle. And that worked better for me. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.